heavy. Bored. All right, let's move to page 12. Page 12, we have the bath. And this is probably his most famous poem, the most canonized poem, and it's actually quite long. So I don't think I'll read all of this, but if you typed in Gary Snyder's name to Google, this would probably be one of the first ones that popped up on a website like Poetry Foundation or, you know, uh, the Academy of American Poets and things. Uh, but so this is his most famous and probably his most recognized poem. But honestly, uh, and this is me personally talking, I'm not trying to be objective here or anything like that. I just, I've never been a big fan of the poem. I remember being forced to kind of read his work, like like book poems like The Bath and stuff in grad school, and just not agreeing with anything the teachers were telling me, like just kind of being, ugh, all right. I just find everything he's written so bland. And again, maybe that problem is me, listeners, and I kept asking myself this. But a poem like The Bath strikes me as more uh, a yoga, kind of like more as like a, a yoga studio guru than a poet. Uh, easy observations, obvious observations, um, the earth first trend from the time. Um, and there's also, I think what people really like about it, and I think what he masterfully does in this is there's kind of a, a sexuality about it, kind of a sterile uh, sexualizing and I think he's trying to do what like the hippies would do with kind of what they call family beds and like things like that where the children and the parents would all sleep together in these large beds um, but I think it, it's kind of too sterile he's trying to be almost too sterile with it but of course it's not without the beauty that he's clearly aiming for so I don't want to be like oh this doesn't capture anything I think it does capture something I think it captures something better than most like I said in the monologue um, this one is very specific literally the bath is the title so it's about bathing right that's it and it's about bathing in this kind of weird you know he was kind of you know mountain man live off the grid type hippie uh and clearly you know bathing his wife and him and uh, their child all bathing together not that uncommon uh maybe it was back then i don't know but uh i think it does capture a beauty in there that I think he actually that he was trying to go for and notice how this one is much longer than all the other poems in this collection not all of them but it's one of the longest poems in this collection and there's a reason for that and there's a reason that this is one of the most famous it's because it actually is saying the most specific thing but then as I mentioned in the monologue it is also kind of just like a portrait of like a look at me self-portrait right like where I get that kind of Steven Seagal thing like people don't remember like Steven Seagal when he got really into kind of like eastern philosophies and he would like sit there like he was some like the most enlightened being in the world with like his hands folded like a fucking monk and like giving these weird interviews about how he's found enlightenment and uh, all that stuff it strikes me a lot of that but this one has its merits as I want to say the bad you know. resources American resources It shows such a lack Heavy. of gratitude for life. Bored. I, I aspire to bored, I should say. Bored. Heavy. I am heavy, heavy. Heavy. Bored. Has you the night sweats and the day sweats, pal? Pal, I do.